Hello and welcome to Who Corner to Corner podcast. As always, my name is Jeff and I've been interrupted five times already tonight by my good friend and co-host, Paul. That's me. Hello. Hey, Jeff. That's you all right? How- yeah, good. How are you tonight? Yeah, I'm all right, mate. I'm in a good mood. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. And uh, we're joined tonight by uh, Graham, uh, Graham Ward, who yes. is um, Robot of Death on Twitter, a name that some of you, uh, some of our listeners and watchers might recognise from your Twitter travels. Good evening, Graham. Uh, good evening, Jeff. And good evening, Paul. You, good How evening, Graham. <laughs> yeah, good I'm to good. meet you, mate. I'm good. I'm good. I'm quite excited. Good, good. Well, uh, I'm I'm t- terrified. We're here. I've got nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight's episode is um, uh, it's it's a first first for us, isn't it, Paul? We're yeah. we're going to attempt. Let me just get it. We're going to try this. We've never done this before. Look at that. The there it is. Doctor Who role playing game. The Doctor so, Who role playing game. This is something that uh, we've had for a little while, uh, and uh, we recently ran a competition in conjunction with Cubicle 7, who, who make the role-playing game, uh, to give away a copy of the 13th Doctor source book, which is their new one that's out. Um, so we've had this sitting around for a while, and I've, I've sort of read the book a number of times, and Paul, we've talked about doing it, haven't we? We have, uh, yes. And given it a go. Uh, and then we kind of tweeted about it recently, and some people said, "Yeah, go for it." You know, they'd be they'd be up for it. And we thought, well, we can't really do it just the two of us. We need someone else to get involved. We need someone else, someone who knows the thing or two about role playing gamage uh, and gaming in general. Mm. And uh, that guy wasn't available, but Graham was. <laughs> yes. oh. I'm always <laughs> that's a good one, mate. That's right. <laughs> so. Uh, Graham, we we knew that you were quite uh, a gamer, but I, and I should specify like board games and and the like, really not so much video games, I guess. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit quickly about your uh, your background in in board gaming and, and RPGs? Oh, what I've been playing since I was a teenager in the eighties, when it it kind of soon after it first kind of appeared, um, we had to have a little bit of that. Um, <laughs> but um, I mean, usually it's board games. I start. You start off with risk and um, diplomacy, that sort of board game, and that's where mm. I've just got obsessed with board games. I've got. I was doing a, a YouTube channel on it, but nobody watched it. Yes. So I, I kind of had <laughs> scrapped that in the end. <laughs> but um, that that bodes really well for this session. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it, it was it was my presentation. I it was, there's a million board game channels out there. <laughs> and um, I, so I kind of made mine a little bit of a parody. Nobody wanted to know. Ah. They wanted serious. They, well, they wanted serious. Um, yeah, no, no serious, time for, serious. for jocularity in this. So, in this game. Yeah, I went back to doing a, a channel about comics instead. But um, fair enough. <laughs> I, I mean, I had, my yeah. board game circles broken up a bit since the pandemic, and mm. um, so we're doing a lot of online gaming and and things now, which we weren't before, but. Um, uh, I've, yeah, I just, uh, I just, I've always played board games. I don't know yeah, what else yeah. to play yeah. really now. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, well, because I mean, I, 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 um... if I carry on, I will just bore you stupid for t- two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the best board games. But um, RPGs, oh. I have been doing RPGs for a long time. It's been a little while, but yeah, they are they are quite. Um, it's got to be like riding easy. a bike, isn't it? Surely. Yeah, it is. You, it's you, once you've realised that the rules are there to guide yeah. you rather than mm. um, restrict you. Yeah, it, it, you know, you just make up a story. It's all good. You yeah. find your own solutions. Yeah. It's a little bit more like an escape room than a board game. You, Ooh, you give it a well, do you know what? That's, think your way around. That's a good it. way to sell it, isn't it? Yeah. Like right. that. Well, yeah. it's it's funny you. Uh, you say that because I mm. have uh, devised a bit of a story for tonight. And, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I'm excited. Uh, that that, that, that might excited. become, uh, well, you know, the relevancy of that will, be, will beca- become apparent. So, yeah, looking through the book, uh, well, I'll, I'll say um, I've never played any RPG stuff like this, and, mm. and my board gaming um, is not not a massive thing. I will uh, admit, well, not, I'm not embarrassed about it, but I love the Funkoverse games that they make, and I and I fairly regularly play those. One of my friends, they're sort of strategy uh, t- or turn-based games and. 
you know, you, you battle your opponents, you've got to get gems and get flags. There's, there's various different kind of modes within it. And actually, yeah. it's, it's extremely addictive. We, we played for like, you know, four or five hours of a night on it, you know, yeah. when we do it. And, and there's like um, different versions. I got Marvel, uh, Harry Potter, yeah. um, Nightmare Before Christmas and stuff. There's no, there's no Doctor Who one yet. Um, this, but that, this that's is, great these fun. The, and these, this is the type of board games a young father would have a lot of often. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I did try. Um, I did play. Uh, yeah, I did play it a little bit with my son recently, actually. Um, and then I've I've got a couple of Doctor Who ones as well. Uh, so, um, we we sent you something, didn't we, Graham? That you won, which was was it the yeah, Don't Blink uh, don't, game? Was it called don't Blink? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, of the of the Doctor Who board games, that's the best one. Um, yeah, it was it was good because that that was um, it, it was tiles, wasn't it? So you you could kind of yeah, create you, a new yeah. you know board on each each play which which made it different and then yeah. you could play as the doctor and companions or the angels yeah there was a lot there was quite a bit um, of variety mm. the others the others are kind yeah. of just bog standard it, it's they put the theme onto a basic game yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah so i've got um Ra race to the tardis which is a, a fairly simple one and then there's also time of the daleks i think it's called, oh yeah i which got is, that one yeah yeah. yeah, you've I've, got the twelfth Doctor one, haven't you? I've, I've got, got the thirteenth. I've got six and, out there, and I can't remember what they're all called. But don't believe yeah, that, that one was pretty <laughs> good. A lot. Are they, they, are they one, um, yeah. The one with Eccleston in it that I can't. You had to go and collect bits of Tardis, and then yeah, I think that's avoided race to the, the Daleks. Tardis. That might be. Maybe it might have been an Daleks. early version of Race to the. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I could go yeah, out there but, and have a look. But they were good yeah. anyway. But yeah. Um, but looking at the stuff for for this tonight, and I must say this this book for it is fantastic. It's it's really nice. Pretty done. immense, you, you isn't guys it? have got the, the digital copy. Yeah. When it came, I was I was not expecting it to be this big. And I suppose was it a big reading funk it on through, the doormat? It, it was. Yeah. Um, reading it through, and I'll I'll just show on camera quickly. So it's what you would call lavishly illustrated. I yeah. Lavishly. Right Look at that. That's that's oozing lavishness. Lo this lots of photos manned up there uh, it's really really nicely done this is a yeah. second uh, edition uh, isn't it and they've done versions for th that's it. earlier doctors yeah, updated yeah yes so, so the the first um edition was more 12th doctor focus um so the book is it, it looks complex i think uh but actually when you kind of break it down there's a lot of kind of chat within the writing in it and kind of examples yeah. and stuff like that mm. so essentially a few chapters. this is the games master sorry y yeah don't yeah. interrupt the game um, yeah. yeah so <laughs> essentially there's the games master who like you were saying graham their their role is to kind of uh somewhat develop and then lead the story and kind yeah. of work uh you know on the point system and stuff like that and then you guys are the players so so one of you is is the doctor uh and and the other is uh, well, or your own character i guess doesn't have to be the doctor but I, I guess it probably should be um and then the other person is a a self uh, made character or uh you know playing as a you know a character from the show like graham or someone um and then you have to assign yourself various uh things don't you so yeah. attributes bring up skills experiences and stuff look there you go there's all uh, mine equipment. there you go i These got all that so I, I did some work i've got it all written down and here's a got my mind map as well i did a mind map Ooh. of everything See he's that? really done it if you yeah, yeah. got yours graham um, oh, he's really look at that there isn't he I don't know if I'm going to do it, mate. I'll do it proper, that's for sure. <laughs> you, you Took me all of five, the five minutes to do that, that did. What you got? Sheets here. Carrots, so these yes. are the... Yeah. Oh, do I need to do a picture of... I need to draw a little picture in there, don't I? So let me just expand my frame so I can work out how much you're seeing. Of We're seeing far here. too much already, <laughs> you, Jeff, frankly. So, yeah, that's great, mate. So I love the, it. These have different... Uh, like you are saying, so... You've got to do your character name, the concept, which is kind of what their their role is. So I'm looking at uh, Graham O'Brien here, and he's a retired bus driver. Then the focus, so that's kind of what your one of your core kind of character traits. Yeah, is. I kind so of struggled on that. Yeah, focus. What is? Yeah, focus. Yes. Focus so his, is, his is kind of your main driving force. What mm. what you're after? Yeah, so like his is the top would be to get everybody home safely, for example, or to yeah, or gotcha. to defeat the Daleks or whatever. Whereas yeah. You know, 
and, and the like, masters yeah, will be to rule world. the universe that yeah. sort of thing like yeah mayhem yeah, 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 yeah you could say kind like, of um mo- motive and then you you have a short term goal and a long term goal because i think uh with some rpgs graham the the plan is that you know you develop your characters and they and they kind of grow and progress over multiple yeah, games you, yeah, yeah, you, yeah 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 i'd noticed them, in this af- after about chapter 5 of the instructions the rest of the chapters are, are what happens after they're an adventure and, and to build you up yeah. to mm. the next one. So, um, yeah, yeah. We're not it's all about developing. Yet. Oh, no, <laughs> it, I was like, that's, because, that's yeah. not going to happen. A campaign can go on so, for like you know, weeks. Yeah. You do like one night a week. Yeah. It could go on for so, a couple you know, of months. Wow. If, if people like this enough, then maybe we'll do it. Um, but then you get attributes, so such as awareness, coordination, uh, uh, in, ingenuity, ingenuity, Jeff. and st- strength. That's the one. I've given uh, myself and so a high ingenuity. I don't know why I did that. Have you? Yeah, that can't be And then be you right. get skills uh, like athletics, conflict, convince, craft, intuition. So there's various different things there that you get given a number of points, don't you? And well, you, you, you assign yourself there. the number of points. You've got like 18 yeah. maximum that you can assign throughout yeah. all of those. And you can't give yourself more than six or less than one of each. Yeah, that's so. Like you, you could make someone, uh, you, you know, be really athletic, for example, um, and yeah. perhaps have good yeah, subterfuge yeah, 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 yeah. and survival. Yeah. But you wouldn't necessarily say they've got a good no, technology no, 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 ranking. It. But you yeah. could have science and medicine together. So you know, you, you're creating these these kind of. It's uh, quite yeah, good. It's, it's, I mean, to be honest, I, I've only ever played this sort of thing on a, on a video game, on a console or a PC or something. So yeah, I, I'm probably the complete really opposite of you, Graham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's all done for me. You can sort of level up as you gain XP and That's various it. other things, and you well, choose yeah. where you're going to spend your XP. Um, but this is this is doing it like with pen and literally pen and paper. Yeah, it's yeah. Very, well, yeah, you don't, That's very alien you don't get this. I'm not going to um, lie. It feels very weird. You don't get this kind of uh, control over things like this in a game, do you? And I don't know. You've also got the um, experiences, uh, distinction, equipment, and yeah, conditions yeah, yeah. section yeah, yeah. as well. All so, you know, yeah. experiences, you, you have to pick one, I think. So you say you could do, um, you know, ha- had a, uh, a near-drowning accident, you know, in their <gasps> youth. That could then come into Straight play the later darkness, if they ended they? up on... Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I went there. Look at that. <laughs> uh, you nearly drowned. Look at the deadly assassin. <laughs> you were within an inch <laughs> of your maker. <laughs> yeah. But the equipment could be, uh, I always carry a snorkel, you know. Uh, so uh, That's what he was gearing you know, up for. So, so that, yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Spent all so, day thinking um, that one. My, well, <laughs> I did a I did. mind map. <laughs> Jeff thought about yeah. snorkeling. So <laughs> why don't you... Um, why don't you you tell us a little bit about um, your your characters before we kind of get into the game and, and the story? So, with the, the the main part of the game, I'm going to um, kind of be descriptive of the scenario. Are you going to be the game's master? I I will be because games I've um, master. You got planned what you can't oh, see that there. You got but it on your phone. Look at that. I've, I've planned Sorry. some stuff there. Um, oh. Where's Graham gone? Sorry, I, I can't down. find. I had a notepad to make loads oh, of you? notes on. And Mate, I've got loads of notepads. Yeah. If you were here with I, me, you could I have one of my multiple notepads. Yeah, can you just give me a minute, and I'll go and yep. get well, a substitute because I have no. So, idea. Graham, I'm assuming you're going to be the doctor. Well, as, Paul, as why don't you tell it? Yeah, as Paul is going to be, I'll go and get my stuff. While Paul can tell you about. Get, yeah. get your stuff. It's, it's so, perfect. Paul, and I will tell go us about. Through, yeah, go, shall I go through Rebel. my mind map? Yeah, Rebel Jim okay. Spinner. Yeah, Rebel Jim. So his actual name is Rebel Spinner. Really? His nickname is Jim. It's kind <laughs> of the reverse of what you might ordinarily consider, right? Yeah. And yeah. basically what it is, is old or young Rebel, right, is um, is, is kind of a, is an AI wizard from the future. His job is to go in and fix artificial intelligence systems. That's what he does, and he's really good at it. So in terms of technology and computers and you know well, shit like that, he's he's red hot. Um, he's bang on the money. Big, as a big fan of AI, yes. Sla- slash capital S. That is sarcasm overload. So uh, <laughs> are you just, just going to make snide comments while I describe my character? <laughs> no, I'm going to say it doesn't surprise me that he's got to go in and regularly fix them. He's uh, got to go fix them because they they become a little bit deranged. We're talking mega yeah. advanced. AI so here. We're not talking about the kind of crap that writes a rubbish short story for you when you plug in some parameters uh, and it comes out with loads of, loads of gum. 
what you've done yeah. here, you've made your character an enemy of the god of, of the Jeff. world. Yeah. Yes. I know. Well, you enemy. say that. And you've upset Hold on. God. No. Wait, wait. You've got to let <laughs> yeah. me finish, right? So that that's what you would assume, right? However, he was fired from his evil mega corporation that he used to work for, right? Oh. And, and hold on, right? He, he was fired because, wait, I wrote it down. I thought about this. I thought this was a good idea, right? So this bank had this dodgy AI, right? And he went in to fix it. And in fixing it, right, it all kind of went a bit wrong. And what he did is he, he basically persuaded it to give the bank's cash away to various galactic charities. Oh, so in doing so, rude. he caused an absolutely total economic collapse on his planet, oh. and he was they, they thought that was worthy of uh, of uh, of a P forty five, basically. <laughs> yeah. you know, they said, do you, do you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebel, <laughs> come in and see the boss, mate. We got a boat to pick with you. See that bank you went out with, and the global economic that collapse that happened afterwards. That's probably a grievance. They said, you know, grievous misconduct. <laughs> that's the word. H so they basically H fired him. But because it was such a, a, a catastrophic um, bulls up, right? He tried to hide. He wanted to change his personality, his looks, and everything else. So, but but it was only some dodgy geezers who could actually do that for him. So what he ended up with was the kind of the, the appearance of an of a, of a somewhat older man. Hence, you know, I don't look like I'm in my mid twenties, right? And also, but in doing that, also they gave him the personality of an, like a like a secondary personality. They installed it due to an error of an old man, right, into into his head. So his short term goal, right, cause it says here, right, you've got to have a short term goal is to get rid of the old man. That's the thing, because the old man is not like him at all. He's kind of sweary and a little bit risque at times, right? And he's just uh, just a really badly behaved guy. But the old man is actually his moral compass, because the old man has, has, a, has a lot of kind of you know values, and, and he has a compassion that that rebel never used to have. Because rebel's parents, right? Hold on, I wrote. Oh yeah, I did a picture of the old man as well. Can you see that? That there, that's the picture of the old man, right? The old man is in his head. But his parents, his mum and dad, they're up there somewhere, right? They're really, really mega, mega rich. They're so rich, right? They, 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 he's never even seen them, right? They just go around on galactic super yachts from one planet to another and just get on and just, you know, there's just a constant holiday. And what he's trying to do is find them, right? So he can have a little word with them and, and have a bit of an argument and stuff. But what, um, of, of what he also suspects, right, is that actually, well, they told him this, right? They've cloned him because he was such a disappointment to them, right? They decided they're going to clone another another rebel, one who's actually better than he is, right? So, but he, he doesn't know that for sure. He just suspects it. So he's got this gnawing paranoia at the back of his mind all the time that's driving him. So he's got this old man who keeps swearing at him and telling him he shouldn't do things like that. And he's also got this major paranoia plus massive guilt from and, and, and sort of guilt, but actually he's quite pleased with the fact he lost all the bank's money and, and, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, there, there, there's a lot more stuff, but there you go. That's my, it. My long term goal is going to be to show yes. you the sights of the universe and get you yeah. to a therapist. Yeah, maybe. His long term, uh, what's his long term goal? Would I put down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find his parents. That's it, yeah. yeah. So that's why he's with the doctor. I'm just basically. trying to get yeah. you some help. That's not a bad idea, because I'll tell you what, I need it, mate. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going with what's written on on the sheet. Are, are you, are you I haven't done any of the doctor? work that Paul has done. But <laughs> no. Do you know what? I'm, just, I'm going to say uh, I'm very impressed by that, Paul. You've taken your uh, writing... Um, background there, and you you've come great characters, up, uh, mate. Great characters and stories. Already, That's what you do uh, on on paper, literally on paper. Sounds like a cracking character uh, with uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> some interesting uh, dilemmas. Yeah. Um, mm. And now, as as quite often, Graham, as you may um, get when you listen to the podcast, we we often talk about things, and Paul. Uh, Wax is lyrical. He analyzes things. He gets very in depth and intellectual mm. about things. And then I go. I just like it a lot. I just like um, it. I just like it. So now uh, I've i got to follow that with my. Oh yeah, what's your character, Jeff? What you got? My sto Well, I. I know oh, your games master, master am, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So okay. So so Graham's a doctor. Then that, so that's a character that's already done and dusted. Yeah. So uh, look, I I'm assuming you're going for. It's a good job. I did put the work in it. Really. Hey. Hey. <laughs> There yeah. you are, so the this doctor. Is, this is Graham. He's going as uh, as thirteen now. Paul, okay. are you going to put uh, an accent on? No. We shall see okay. what happens. He's going to be several. 
several different yeah. ones. Well, he's got, he's got the personality in his head, so he's yeah. got these Trojan yeah. personalities. He's, he reminds me a little bit of... I should have called um, him Ele- Trojan. Trojan. But that implies some uh. kind of beefcake sort of geezer. So, mm. Whereas the, the, the strength of Young Rebel is um, literally... Oh, two, actually. He has got a little no, bit of strength. Okay, he's got a strength of two. His presence is one. He literally has no presence. He could walk into a room and people would not even know he's there. But that might be an advantage. Mm. Uh, okay. See? All right. So uh, let's let's kick this off. So go on in. The story starts in the TARDIS. So we're in thirteenth Doctor. Surprise! TARDIS. Surprise! It's warm. And it's it's comforting. We've got the great big orange pillars, and uh, you know the the tops of them are rising and falling, and the central column is is going up and down on on the console, and those funny noises that it makes are going off, and it's all peaceful and calm. But the doctor is rushing around like a lunatic. Uh, a, uh, a an alert has come in, oh dear. but it's not a bad alert. This is an invite. Ooh. So, how how would you approach it? How would the Doctor approach this? And how would Rebel approach this? Who, who discovers it? it? Uh, well, I'm going to say the Doctor discovers it. It okay. comes in makes a, well, the last, makes a ding. The, the, the two times I can remember receiving something in my TARDIS was a parcel from Kiblam, which didn't end well, and a parcel... Oh, I can't remember the name of the planet where we fit found Idris. So, so many he planets, so many parcels. Well, that didn't end too well either, so mm, um, I'm going to be wary of this parcel, but mm. I, I am going to um, carefully open that, making sure okay. that Jim is in his safe space. Yes. Okay. It. Yeah, because I'm a little bit nervous here. I think I think I'm giving the Doctor a little bit of distance. The Thank Doctor you. has told me that nothing can invade the TARDIS, and and you know guns can't go off or anything like that. But I don't believe it, frankly. So I'm a little bit wary. I'm kind of hanging back. Yeah, Self preservation. So we've got a little bit of um, not conflict, but uh, you know mo- most uh, yeah. TARDIS companions are trusting of the Doctor. I've got and, some and go with things. Yeah, I've got. Mm. Yeah. So. I'm going to try and guess what's in it, what it's all okay. about. But is it well, just like an, an addressed? Everyone? Yeah, it's 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 no, it's um, well, it, uh, uh, like an email. Oh, let's, let's say it's like an email. Just, it's just it's electronic. electronic. It's electronic, so it's addressed to the doctor, uh, and and let's say it says to the doctor and fam, because we can uh, hopefully discover how Rebel and the Doctor ended up being together, and where this happens in the in the timeline as well, mm. because you know where's Ma- uh, where's Yaz and uh, and Dan. So um, th- let's so let's say this this email comes up, and uh, it's it's an invitation, and it's to something new and exciting. Now, despite the wariness, mm. I think certainly one character would end up becoming um, overwhelmed somewhat with an excitement so right. the doctor opens the invitation yeah. mm-hmm. and it's an invitation to the galaxy's hottest new escape room Ooh. oh okay ah okay, okay so right a bit of fun yep and this is uh, S- the doctor always likes to go and see the sights around the galaxy and yeah, taking the holiday indeed, camps the from the uh the museums but I think you're right Graham that the Doctor would be slightly wary because last time there was um, uh, an arrival you know male arrival in the TARDIS it was a Kablam parcel and that all went a bit pear shaped and then when Graham assembled his uh, tokens to get them a free trip to uh, the Sanctuary Spa turned out to be Orphan 55 and the dregs and that also went a bit pear shaped so there is a theme here Mm -hmm. there is a theme but at the moment it's all exciting. Is this an escape yeah. room? Well, so, we're definitely is... we're definitely going to go and investigate this. I'm talking so, Jimmy. So it, 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 does, it doesn't really matter what I say then, Doctor. You well, go in anyway, I'm, basically. I, I'm, I don't think it's a I'm great gonna, idea. I'm going to try and convince you that it'll be fun. I'm not sure why you're in the TARDIS at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to go and explore the galaxy. <laughs> I've, ne- I've never well an escape room sounds to me like something that is locked on all sides and why would you put yourself in a box that is locked 
and try and escape it if there's no need to actually be in the box in the first place and do the escaping. So you're not a fan of this uh, worldwide <laughs> phenomenal... Re Rebel like, Jim isn't a fan, and the old man at the moment is kicking off in the back of his head, right. thinking, that, thinking the whole thing's need ridiculous. To get you some tranquilizers. Mm. <laughs> I've got a special pack of meds in my in in Adric's old bedroom. All right. Well, All tasteless. <laughs> I'm 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 suggesting we go to this, and um, I've got resolve and strength. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I have no that? presence. I have no yeah. resolve. So I literally crumble at your persuasive powers. Yeah, I don't know if we need a dice roll for that. I think that's. We don't need a dice roll for that. We don't. Yeah. The, the doctor says we're going. We're going. Because if if if, if, if they don't go anyway. <laughs> yeah, and if you um, if you don't go for this, the, this doesn't really work. So <laughs> yeah. you, you, you've got to go for it. So. At that point, then the the doctor accepts the invitation by clicking uh, on her keyboard. Sorry. She rushes around to the other side of the TARDIS, pulls on a lever, spins something around, flicks something else, and the TARDIS my, lurches my into action. At this point, as well. Yeah, let's bring back the custard cream you know, machine. Have a custard. Pulls lever. It might calm uh, young Rebel Jim down. Yeah, I I, I do en enjoy the custard creams. Uh, yeah, the the doctor is basically bought me with custard creams and I can't get enough of them now yeah and there's there's, there's quite a lot of medication in these ones <laughs> <laughs> special biscuits gonna say, are, you, are you implying that the doctor is <laughs> I just, I just think Jim, Jim needs, needs to not not be so anxious about everything it's yeah. Okay. Case, yeah. Panic, I'll, I'll, I will trust oh, the doctor's advice on this one, and yet retain an element of uh, wariness. Okay. He's got no reason to, to fear anything here, as the. It's just the idea of a room that you intentionally put yourself in in order to escape it. Oh, okay. When what we are doing, as the doctor and Jim, throughout our travels in the universe, is trying not to get put into rooms that we need to escape from. That's well, all I'm saying. Maybe at this point, the, the doctor would. But, uh, I'll go with remind it. Jim, uh, mm -hmm. maybe the doctor would remind Jim that in his eleventh uh, incarnation, he said, "There's one thing you never put me in." A, a trap. trap. Is that the same as a box? I remember that. You boxed his back. Well, <laughs> um, you shouldn't do it. I, uh, <laughs> I know where you were going with that one. Do not recommend, game it. master. Okay, right. So we're so on our way the, to this escape room. The uh, yeah, the TARDIS mm. uh, rushes through the time vortex across the, uh, the the planets and, and the galaxy and it arrives at the escape room mm. uh, facility oh so, so we're in a lobby first we don't materialize well, in no no we, we'll we'll materialize outside and okay. um, the the doctor and rebel step outside of the tardis and um, it's it's an interesting looking building it, it's sort of somewhat nondescript but at the same time it's kind of slick and futuristic looking even for this planet you know we're, we're somewhere in the mm -hmm. universe and it's it's an interesting looking building mm -hmm. it's uh uh you know it's lit up it's it's kind of colorful but uh you know the building itself is perhaps um imagine it's it's sort of somewhat breeze block like but it's it's been jazzed up on it okay jazzed so, up breeze block jazzed up breeze <laughs> okay <laughs> That, that's going in the episode Literally, description. Literally, I can picture it right now. <laughs> so, um, the Doctor and, and Rebel make their way over towards the building, looking at the environment around them. It's kind of, um, you know, it, it, it's it's nothing sort of to write home about particularly. Uh, I haven't really thought about what it looked like here, but I'm imagining that it's just, it, it's a futuristic alien city type thing. But this, um, you know, when city? you go to... Thriving. Well, I think the the escape room building uh, is in the um, kind of outskirts, perhaps a little bit. There's other industrial okay. buildings around. You know, oh, maybe okay, so it's like um, like a rundown place, and someone's bought that on the cheap and turned it into an escape yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, possibly. You know, when you like maybe uh, when you used to take your kids to like soft play and stuff, yeah. like, often in those <coughs> kind of warehouse buildings on mm -hmm. on the outskirts of town and stuff yeah. like that. So the, the, the old, let, the old let, man. Jim, the Trojan personality, he's really kicking off at this point. He's like, Lord, okay. a bleeding dumb, look at this. What a dumb, what did he bring us here for? I, I thought there was going to be cocktails. I, I, I want to roll, I want to I want to roll for intuition to just Ooh. see if I get any idea. My intuition is four. Yeah. So, yep. um, basically, Jeff, 
you have to tell me how many dice I'm going to roll Ooh. Yep. and what number I've got to be to gain a little bit of intuition out of this. See if I can uh, uh, okay. get any clue right. as to what's going on here before we go okay, in. Okay, so let's... Just in case there's go some two... uh, nasties going on. Okay. Yeah. So let's go for two dice, and you've got to get over eight across the, <gasps> the pair of them. Okay. Oh, across the pair. Hang on. Uh, just sorry about this. I just realised. That's all right. So, what, so what's this then? So you roll, roll in a dice to what play one of your yeah, attributes, just, it's, one it's, of your skills. Yeah. yeah. You basically, whenever you want to do anything or take a decision, mm. um, you basically. <laughs> that's the box. Right, not me. <laughs> of course, it's the box. Yeah, uh, I believe you. If, I this. if you're listening, Graham did just hold up a gaming box there, yeah. and so uh, and that was this proof that the box was the uh, game with lots of dice. So I'm rolling two dice. The box was rumbling, and I've got to be eight. Eight. It's just over halfway, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I've got seven. Oh. Ooh. And I have got before okay. the tuition points. So you add that to forward. the roll. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's eleven. So that's quite. I beat okay, it fair way. Yeah. So you, do I? You need to know whether the doctor's getting a. a I just good got. Or bad yeah, you here. just give me a little bit of little bit of a. Okay. Um, a kind of a clue mm. as to what this place is. It may be using something about who's in charge of it. Whether. Okay. Maybe even just so at the moment. Beat. Okay, at the moment, I think the doctor is uh, not um, feeling anything to worry about. I think she's excited. Okay. You know, there's there's absolutely nothing of any kind of um, no threat. No threat here. No indication of anything bad. This is it's just, all kind of this you is know, just a nice looking leisure activity. If it looks yeah. on the cheap, yeah, <laughs> she's getting excited. Well, I mean, they're giving she away says, free tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, let's let's get a shift on. So they make their way in into the building. Okay. So they get in. They get inside the building. The doors open. Oh, and they're sucking inside, doors. Inside. Mm. Yeah. You know, Star Trek style. Someone's off off the side of the screen pulling them open. Um. So they get in, and the entrance lobby is. You know when you go somewhere and the outside doesn't look any... It's a bit like the TARDIS in a way. The outside looks nothing like the inside. Inside, it's even more slicker. They, You know, Ooh. it's really kind of uh, oh. atmospheric. It looks really cool. Uh, there's a bit of kind of, you know, exciting music playing. And there's a purple-haired uh, lady behind the counter. She looks humanoid, but maybe she's not. We don't know. And sitting over... It doesn't really matter. And sitting in on his own in a chair is another chap. Uh, who also looks humanoid. Uh, right. He's obviously waiting for something. So the doctor's going to go in and she's going to start sizing people up before she goes yeah. over and talks to the receptionist. Well, I'm uh, going to so go to the receptionist and I'm going to send Jim off. Do you want to be known as Rebel or Jim? J Jim's the name of the old man or my sir, or my nickname. Right. You can either one. Well, I'm going to call you Rebel. Re Rebel, Rebel is the, is the kind of whiz the kid man. AI part. Jim's the old man who just wants to wear a cardi and have a cup of tea. However, can I say here at this point actually that that rebel Jim is starting to get a little bit of goosebumps on the back of his on the back of his neck because he's starting to recognise some of this architecture and some of its kind of surroundings. It's almost like he's stepping back into the corpo world that he was sort of fired from. He senses oh, that there is an AI presence here. It might just be. It might just be the, the the management systems, the computer networks, and all that stuff, you know, or it might be something so a little bit more sinister. But his yeah, his intuition is starting to prickle a little bit here. Yeah. Well, so I'm gonna, should, should I, I, I should I roll something just to get a bit of a clue as to whether there might be some? I mean, you've already done it, and you surmise that there's nothing there's nothing to worry about. Well, it's there's all, nothing yeah. I can see, but maybe you've got different skill mm. uh, if this is in relation to your experience. Well, I've 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 got I've got massive technology skill here, and there's certain things that I'm recognising that you know from various components and screens and you know interfaces and, and stuff like that. You know, even the mu even the music might be a little bit old, but you know it's technology. So you know maybe that could give us a clue as to whether okay. something is going on here that they doesn't yep. see. 
so I think as you get in, Rebel mm-hmm. is starting to scope the place out. He's he's uh, naturally suspicious, I think, and yes. uh, perhaps and distrusting. So let's have a dice roll for you, Paul. Okay. And, um, between the two of them, you need to get. I'm going to make this one slightly harder. You got to go over twelve. Twelve. Okay? And that's for you to work out whether there's something uh, to be we- to genuinely be wary of here, yeah, or yeah, whether yeah. they just need to upgrade their IT system, right? And sack off the AI. Okay. So I have my two dice right here, standard six-sided dice. I'm going to roll Painted. them for effect in the camera, and not the camera. What's that microphone? I always get confused. And throw it. So what did you say? Oh, that one's spinning. Spinner. See, oh. that's my name. Whoa! It actually fell into my hand. So what did I have to get? 12. 12. I've rolled seven on the dice. How much? However, my technology. My technology. My technology. No word of a lie. Where is it? Down there is five. Can you see that? Okay. Down the bottom there. It's so five. 12. So you I've got 12. Uh, mm. All right. So you can you can uh, make your uh, s- summarization of, of what's what's going on here. So what does Rebel think? Rebel suspects that this is definitely a trap set by okay. some. There, there, there is there is some kind of AI going on here that doesn't perhaps he suspects doesn't have our best interests at heart. He doesn't know the nature of it, but there are little telltale signs from systems that he's worked with previously, and they've all been a little bit on the deranged side. Okay, interesting. Mm. So, Graham, how's it going with the doctor and the receptionist? Well, let's let's run that conversation. Graham, you can be the doctor. Paul, you can be the receptionist. Okay. Nameless receptionist. What am I? Put purple, a, purple humanoid. F- pu- pu- purple head. Think purple body. head. Right. Okay. It, you, yeah. you could actually. I tell you what. Pu- you could picture. Do you remember in the first Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord has a woman like in the ship, and he, he forgets that she's there. She's pink skinned. She looks a bit like that. Okay. Right. Okay. Like, no one, no one remembers Spanker, that. But, but purple. I think. Right. You, yeah, okay. I think that's better. I think that's better. Um, well, basically, okay. the first thing I'm going to do is hand over the invite and say we've just we've received this invite. Um, do you know where we got this? Who sent this? Is this where, a- sorry? Where where did you get this invite? This was sent to you, right? Named an address. Oh. To me. To you, right? So you got the invite. It's it's your invite. You just go walking right in. You just go right on in there. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I, I, I'm okay. not here. I don't get paid. It's I not my pay grade. Know. I'd like just to, to who who sent it. Well, I don't know. I don't know who sent it. You received it. There's it's okay. it's. I just sit here on this desk. That's all I do. I let people in. I smile when I want to. Uh, it's it's not in my job description, but I can do that. I've got four different mouths. You can only see two of them, but I've got another two at the back somewhere. So whatever way I'm facing, I'm smiling at you. That's all I'm paid to do. Smile, okay. point you in the right direction, sir, madam, and it's over there. You just go okay. through those doors and you take it up with the with with the, whoever's on you other side i don't know who sent you the email does it have an address on the email i mean i don't know maybe it does maybe it doesn't so who knows at this point i I would say that the um the invitation um is randomly sent and just happened to uh get to the tardis they're they're randomly uh, sent the emails are all randomly sent and you got one for random (laughs) well let's just although looking at your dress sense i think you should be here okay um I'm, and, and the, I'm going to take Rebel oh, to the side for a minute and ask if he okay. wants to. Right, yeah. Well, you've got I'm more just going to also though. say... I'm not sure about I'm, this, Doctor. I'm, I'm not also sure about just going to say... Yeah. Hang on, hang on. The other person sitting there, his name is Simon. Um, Simon. Which, which is, um, you know, an exotic name where he's from. Uh, and Simon is going to be joining the uh, escape room with the pair of you oh, okay. Cool. okay okay well that's but, you, but, was, you, yeah. but, but you so you can you can start to build to you know towards yeah. that maybe you want to go and talk to him so that 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 needs to that's what's going to happen there right that's the receptionist if, tells he's, you. if he's in our invitation we'll go and have a word with him and uh, find out a little bit about him well um, that that guy over there yeah with, with the with the massive hat Has like abraham that? lincoln yeah. The doctor would just go over, wouldn't she? And go, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, oh, all right, chum. Yeah. It um, it, it sounds like I might have to drag Rebel, or it or yeah. Rebel. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah. so I think. He, he puts yeah. the doctor first. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. I'm just I'm just looking around here because I don't like this. Still, you might think there's nothing going on, but I'm pretty sure there is. 
Yeah. I'm and just, that, I don't trust yeah. that guy. What's the guy's name? Simon. So Simon. I just, I'm just going to go and breezily introduce Simon. myself to Simon and see what Simon has to say okay. for himself. Uh, where he got. Right. His... I'll, I'll voice. I'll voice Simon okay. as well. Yeah. Okay. So hi Simon, we 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 hear you're uh, joining the party, and um, I didn't. Where did you get your name. invite from? I guess. I didn't tell you my name. No, but you got a great big badge on there no. that has it. The it says Simon. Oh yeah, I do. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Well done. That's convenient. Well done. It's my intuition. <laughs> oh. Good spot. I got an email saying I had a, a free escape room, and I thought I'd come and give it a go. Because last time I did one of these, I liked it a lot. You uh, liked it. Okay. A lot. You liked I being I like. put in a locked room <laughs> with no way out, from it's which just, you had to escape. It's just a game. It's just a game. So you say. Yeah, it is just a mm. game. What's your name? What's your name? My name, Rebel. Yeah. Cause, rebel. Because that's what I am. I'm a, I'm a rebel. And what's your name? I'm the Doctor. Ooh, that's the what? That. The oh, Doctor the, and the Rebel? Yeah. What? That's yeah. those, are not, um, that's those are not your. Those are not your real names. I'm Simon Exotic. Exotic Simon. <laughs> Exotic Simon. <laughs> okay, I think the best we could do then is just to go and see what awaits us. Because uh, oh, okay. we just go through the doors. Yeah. yeah, they said I couldn't play on my own. I've been waiting. So now there's three of us. We can go. Let's let's, right, let's yeah. do all this. Let's, let's go. Okay, let's go. I'm okay. right behind you guys. I thought you'd be behind. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You need you behind need to you. you need <laughs> you need to get with the game. Get your head in the game. Yeah, right. I'm still looking. Looks like, oh, looks like Simon's quite keen, so I uh, will. Yeah. We'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll lead with Simon and. Um, okay. Trust so rebel to bring our, up the rear. A new. Um, yeah. Okay. A oh. new trio. Yep. I'm gonna yep. say, can I play my equipment? Because it says I've got equipment here. Yep. So I've got what? right a phone. I've got a very very cool phone two varies right and i've been kind of yeah. playing with this as well it's a phone that will connect to any system in you literally just connects to anything it just has a problem though in that the battery is crap the battery is really rubbish so okay. it might work or it might not work i can think i we should roll can for I it do something with the sonic to the battery Ooh, oh man. that's good oh, well should we this, see if it's going to work first yeah let's this is throwing me what? off <laughs> so, so the doctor, the doctor, and, and Simon are going through the doors. I'm kind of bringing up the rear. I still don't buy the fact that the, the doctor thinks this is good, and that Simon thinks it's just a game. All the rest of it. So, I'm going to bring out my little phone, right? And I'm going to try and connect to the building's okay. network and see what happens. Yeah. How much do I have to throw for this one? Well, to get this to work, is you've got to get uh, yeah. 16. 16. Yeah. <laughs> what if, what if I had to at it with my Sonic mm. to improve that battery? Well, you, you could we have that? done. Yeah. When you were well, I'm doing it without the doctor's knowledge at the moment. Oh, the okay. Striding okay. forward. Uh, You're ahead. Okay. I'm sort of hanging behind a little yeah. bit as, you, as we go through okay. the doors. Right. I've thrown five and a three. So that's eight. Um, is there anything I can kind of add to that? I don't think. Even if I put well, my. If you've got eight and a five, what's that? 13. That's thirteen. What did you say I had to get? What, what was your uh, um, what, sixteen? What, what, you, sixteen. What so the battery's dead. It's not working. It's not. It's it's technology okay. again. Well, yeah. If, well, you're, if you're rolling against your technology, you add that. Yeah. So that's that. That's five plus eight. It's it's not enough. So okay. it's not working. No, I, I can't I, get a well, connection. Okay. It's not yeah, having it. Right. Okay. So well, so nothing. You could. Go on. So I, I, I don't want to upset uh, the doctor. So let's leave it for now. Right, Let, I'll trust the doctor. My phone's not, you know, the battery's playing up again. It does that whenever I need it, pretty much. And typically, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I will go with okay. it. Okay. All right, you're going to choose not mm -hmm. to uh, ask, ask the doctor for some help. No, okay. I will just put so, it back in my pocket, see what happens. Okay. Our new uh, trio are going to enter their escape room. Mm. So they go up to the door. It, uh, it, it slides open and they enter into this, this room. Okay, mm -hmm. and inside this first room, uh, it, it looks kind of like a. It is quite large. It's quite large, and it looks kind of like a library. Ah. Okay, right, so good. you've got uh, at least at least one table mm -hmm. in the middle, uh, and uh, you know some. It's kind of um, you know an old-fashioned looking library. You know, dusty tomes, that kind of thing. Mm. Uh, a large number of bookcases across the, you know around the walls. Uh, you know, books racked up high. Some of them are uh, you know 
all done really nicely on the shelves. Some of them were a bit higgledy piggledy. You got uh, a kind of slightly worn rug on the floor and and tile, you know, tiled floors mm. underneath that. A couple of um, little, uh, you know, tables with with drawers on, um, and uh, you know, uh, you know, other drawers around cupboards and stuff like that. And there's paintings across the wall Ooh. on the walls as well. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and it's and and it's it's kind of. It feels a bit spooky, mm. okay? And uh, there's also uh, a couple of windows as well, all right? And outside of those windows, you can see what appears to be a very realistic-looking garden. Uh, and, and again, Ooh. it's a bit spooky, all right? Uh, you know, the trees are kind of, uh, uh, you know, bare of leaves. It's it's night, mm. uh, clouds, a bit of mist, maybe, okay? Uh, whether this has anything to do with, with any of it, You'll, you'll have Don't to discover. Okay. Um, so, um, you need to investigate the room, mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to tell you so far that there are... One of the bookshelves has a load of coloured books on it. I'll write this and down. these are... Right. Just yep. Let me just bring up my, my little note. So there's um, a number of books on there, okay? So there's yep. s six red, two orange, four yellow, five green, and four white. Wait a minute, six red. Two orange. <laughs> yeah. Two, Two orange. orange. Four, four yellow. Four, four yellow. And five green. Five green. And five four white. Green. Four, four white. Four white. These are yeah. all books. Yeah. Oh, sorry, where uh, are they? They're just they're, they're on a bookcase. Bookcase. Uh, uh, no, they're on a bookcase uh, specifically. Okay. On a bookcase uh, specifically. The table uh, yeah. has a book open on it. Uh, and um, but it, it's more of a journal, and there's, there's some handwriting in it. Okay. Um, all the drawers are padlocked. Oh, there's uh, what drawers on the table? Uh, well, on on some of the bookcases, okay. and you know, there's like little standalone kind of um, I don't know what you call them, you know, mini table type thing. Uh, like an occasional said, uh, table. That's the sort of thing, yeah. Um, picture frames on the wall. Uh, what's in the pictures is, is kind of irrelevant. Okay. Uh, and there's a there's a safe book uh, box as well. Okay. Uh, so um, the book has something specific written in it, which I can tell you yeah. uh, when when you get there. So you need to uh, explore the room and investigate. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look at the books first because they seem to be arranged in a in an order. There might be a clue to this escape. Oh, by the mm -hmm. way, are we locked in this escape room now? This is now the escape room. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I, the, the, yeah. Let's say the door is shut, and that's what, that's when you start looking around. Yeah. I would, um, like I said, it's it's very real looking outside the yeah. windows. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which but it seems like a different environment, right? It's kind of dark and it's kind of ethereal trees not, and not, moonshine. Not what we saw walking to the building. Mm. No. No, so it could okay. be like a projection or something. It Possibly. could be, but like I said, it's it's like, very Rebel, Rebel suspects yeah. technology is at play there. He doesn't think there's anything yeah. supernatural I specifically. Think, I think mm -hmm. Rebel's going to suspect technology every single time. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. It could be good. It could also be his fatal flaw. Well, at least we know somebody's keeping their eye on the tech. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, but because yeah, that, he's, not, he's not thinking about it. Is there anything written on these books in titles? Or um, the books on the shelves, it, it doesn't matter, but I will no, tell you no, that okay. um, the, the book with the handwriting in it, it says, oh, yeah. to reveal more, read red, orange, yellow, green. To reveal okay. more, read red, orange, okay. yellow, green. What about the white one, then? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So no. you've, got to read, you've got to read these books. Yeah, so remember uh, how many of each there were. Okay, there's six red, two orange, four yellow, five green. We've got to read them. Uh, well, you, I mean, you don't need to. Uh, I mean, the doctor reads really quickly, but it's more just yeah, the doctor's got say, looking at the books and and counting them and you know. Yeah, I'm just trying to see. There's some sort of code there, isn't there? No, I can't. There is have indeed. I got anything I can roll to give me an idea? What, what, of what we got? Hold on, wait. So, what we got to read? What we got to read again? The, the books and they're, yep. and they're in certain colours. Right. What was the colours again? There was so six red, two orange, four yellow, five green, and four white. And what have we and got the to read? Clue says clue read blue. red, orange, yellow, green. So the clue is to so read two. Is six, six two, two four, four five, five 
six two. Going to do me any good to put into the safe? Well, then, Is there a I combination that. of that safe? It it might well do. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to go over there. I'm not even going to roll because I've decided to I do think it. That's, that's a I'm going to put six two four, okay. four five into the safe. Yeah. And see if it opens. Okay, go for it. We're all hanging around, watching over well, the doctor's shoulder. Me and Simon. Simon's getting a bit too um, close to my physical space, so I'm just going to move to one do you, side. Do you think, um, you know, there should be a bit more conversation going here? So maybe at this point, Exotic Simon says, Well done. Well oh, done yeah, that's the point. I, I have forgotten, a... Simon. I'm avoiding Rebel because he scares me. Yeah. I, I'm. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna. I should. I should. I should. I should ask Simon if what and Rebel if they think that that might be a sensible thing to do. I. I Re the only Rebel says. Got, to be mm, fair. I. I think it yeah. is. I think you've got to go for it. But bear in mind, it was very easy. <laughs> and that always it? makes me suspicious. <laughs> yeah, but is it easy, or mm. is the Doctor very clever? No, it's easy. Well, good points. <laughs> Yeah, well, the but doctor is very clever. So Simon's mm. going to say, uh, "Well, you're right. That is the only clue we got at the moment. It but we got to start easy. somewhere. Well, you're yeah. right. You're right. Well, well we got to start somewhere. And in my experience of escape rooms, they always give you an easy one at the start. Yeah, this might be I'll to get into the back. actual yeah. escape room, right? And um, right, and, uh, and also it's. Well, hang on. It's also worth saying that whoever wrote this escape room maybe isn't really very good at writing plots and stuff like that. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, doing all right so far. Okay. And no, we've got to no. slow things down a little bit because it only goes up to a certain point in this, this story. <laughs> <laughs> I still right, got my got eye on. Too quickly. Well, oh, what have you got your eye on? The, out, the outside. I've just noticed something. Can I, oh, can did I you? What was it? There's a glitch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Or was well, it? Um, no, it wouldn't have been a glitch. No. But there was okay. something something moving. Well, it, yeah, well that's possible. Open, yeah, but it, it's all hell might break mm. loose. Let's go and have a closer look out the windows then. See if we Come can in. see anything. Okay. All right. Um, I'm okay. starting to wonder whether actually this isn't a bit of technology at all. That what is outside there kind of smells a little bit real. You know, you touch the glass. There's, I there, think there, we're there, making progress, cold. Rebel, with your treatment. It's cold. The glass is cold. There's an atmosphere yeah. on the other side. Oh, it right. would be. And so you you become puzzled. You're looking outside. Mm. You, you you touch on the glass, and it's cold. Now, of course, it could be. Um, it's a, it's a very you know, good projection. Or, it could be a very good projection, or or a bit of tech, or uh, you know, it's very elaborate to have you know the windows cold and something outside there. But oh, we've actually based on moved. We're not only in a different room. We're somewhere else. Mm, you could be. Mm. Oh. I do have a little bit of intuition to play, if need be. But I'm thinking, yeah, something I, going on I there. think, uh, yeah, go on. Go on, roll. Okay, what you, was, what, got the, this is your say, this is Reb, your Rebel Steen there, right? Where's his intuition? His speciality, suspicious of everything. Well, as we've seen. It's only little, mine. <laughs> it's only a two value. But, you know, those two... Right. Well, I don't know. What am I rolling for, though? Just as to whether well, to see if you can gain a clue as to it. There might well, maybe, the the clue. Games, but maybe the doctor comes over mm -hmm. to uh, to help ascertain things. What do you yes, think of this, Doctor? Rebel. The doctor's got four intuition, mm. but um, also four. Hang on, six technology. If it if it is real, it's not technology at all, is it? Mm. I mean, we could just use intuition to get to sneak bits of information out of Jeff. I think done. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we double okay. up on it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, ingenuity, person. I don't need any of that. And then you got to tell us whether it's real or or not. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, what I'll do roll, we need to what, throw? What's what? I'll roll. I'll roll for intuition because mine's slightly higher. Okay. okay, let's let's go for uh, let's go. Oh, for can we both do it together? Would that that's work? What I'm, yeah, you, that's what I was you, thinking. Yeah, yeah why yeah. don't you do it together? Mm, yeah, combine the so we've got four dice together, and let, let's dice. go for for sixteen between you. Okay, okay. right. Okay. Can I, and can I say on dice rolls only? Because otherwise, once you add your intu intuitive okay, yeah. points, you're going to top it over. We're so assuming you've okay. allowed that in the sixteen. All right, game master. Yeah, yeah. you are the game master. So what you well, say I goes? Have, I've rolled nine. You rolled nine. Okay, okay. I'm okay. rolling. You need I'm to try it. it for our audio listeners who can't see anything. That's a five, 
and that's a six. Okay, so there you, you go. You have to trust right, me on I... this, obviously, because I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to say, I can't see anything. I could put here. the camera. I mean, I could lift uh, it up and show you that that's a six. Yeah, but that's, yeah. that's still. <laughs> and I lift it up and show you, and then that's a five, but that's genuinely what it rolled. That's, that's still it. not we've, believable. We've, we've way above 16 now. So we, we've are, hit the pay grade there. I mean, if there's well anything over to be we'll get it, I'm sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, so I'm going to tell you that the room you are in. Uh, is not in the building that you entered. Mm. You have, in fact, been somehow very quickly transported somewhere else because what is outside that window is real. It is a real spooky looking That's why my phone was on the blink. That's what scuppered the battery. That dimensional yeah, yeah. interface transition barrier. You've mm. moved That's away the from one, the yeah. past, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your, your 17G right. coverage didn't work. It didn't, it well, didn't we work. Did, it was it was glitching. Did we, we didn't hear any like TARDIS noises or no, anything. No, nothing at no. all. Didn't feel anything, you know, apart from no. slight well, goosebumps. But I had that anyway. But don't, but don't forget, you know, the door when it opened, mm. it, it slid, and you cross yeah. over, and that was the that was it. And is there is the door still behind us? Is any kind of door behind us? We look around. The, well, the, yeah, the, it's an escape room. Of course, the door is there. The door is, but it's um, locked. Right. Um, it's it's locked, yeah. You you could try it, but there's no handle. There's nothing. Because it'd be a bit of a shit escape out. room if we just walked out of it, wouldn't it? I suppose. Yeah, that, <laughs> back out the way we came. They they don't really do that. But Rebel's <laughs> probably trying it anyway. You know, trying can to get just, something on his phone. It's not really. It's not. Can I just much. ask how Simon is reacting to this relevant? Rebel yeah, rate? yeah. What's, um, what's Simon's okay, take I think on at this, this point, um, because I don't Simon sure if I is, trust Simon. I'm a quite I'm quite intrigued about um you know what's going on here. This is this is a very from okay. a, normal, a, normal, a normal reaction for somebody who went in to play a game and found himself. Yeah, he's he's done yeah. this before. He's he's up. Yes, yeah, he's he's going to say this is quite a high tech uh, escape room. You know, mm. they really got they got a budget here. You know, they, they've taken us somewhere that's real outside. That ain't no projection. It's not a projection. Yeah. You, 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 you mm. schmuck. Well, look, I think yeah. we should open this safe now. Yeah, let's, oh, let's, yeah, go let's for do it. it. Okay, okay. So if okay. The combination the, works, of course. Six two was it? Oh. Six two four five was that? Yeah. That's it, yeah, go Red, for it, orange, the Red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, so the uh, trio gather around the safe box. We're huddling. Mm. And the Doctor, uh, very quickly, lightning quick, enters the uh, code. The safe box pops open and it reveals a small key. Okay. Ah. Okay. Now remember, so what else was around the room? Right, hold on, because... On the wall. I drew um, a picture I, of the room. There we go. Oh, that's the room. There's a table a with a journal picture. on it. Yeah. Windows at the back, and there was pictures. Just, Obviously, we're looking at it I'm from just, the pictures. I'm, I'm just, just going to pause play here. Oh, hold on. Uh, going to pause? <laughs> I'm just going to pause play here yeah. okay. to say that Paul was frankly whining about doing this before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never done it before. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he he didn't really want to do it. Uh, if nobody he's, ever he's did really anything they'd never done before, nothing would ever be done. Exactly. Uh, as as exactly a very right. doctor thing to say, uh, and uh, it's clear that Paul, <laughs> you're really getting into it. And I'll be honest, I'm really enjoying this as well. It's a lot of fun. And um, yeah. I'm going to tell you now, yeah. I've only got up to a certain point in this, and then um, because I wasn't really sure how this was going to go, <laughs> so I, I'm going to have to think of part two. Uh, for us to do, uh, okay. you know, in, a, in another. But what's okay? Uh, so, we, time. so we, wait, wait, so wait. Anyway, the key in the back safe. Back to the game. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We're still going. We're not done yet. Um, no, so the the uh, a, a safe box is open and revealed yep. a small key. Like right, a yeah, key. Can, I, a can I get the description of the room again? Because I might I might have missed some. I can only remember so, those books, the journal, there's a whole, there's a whole and the bookcase, the paintings there's on the table. wall. Yeah. There's locked drawers. Paintings on the wall. Oh, locked drawers. That's it. There's the safe which we've opened. There's a door that's locked behind us, and there's the windows with trees and moonlight outside. Okay. Well, yep. I'm going to take this key as the doctor, and I'm going to pull rank. Is it a technology key, or is it like a manual chub lock it's key? It's just a chub, it's just a key. Just a key. Yeah. Just a key. There's no, well, there's I'm, no going hidden to, I'm going to take the lead role here, and I'm going to start trying it in the lock drawer. Is it just like one lock on one lock drawer, or is this... Uh, no, there's there's a couple of locks. Right. It's it's slightly unspecific at the moment because it depends how and, things go. And Rebel's go. not much good yeah. here because these are all mechanical locks, right? They're not technology uh, locks. No, no. So, so not, Jim, does yeah. Jim know anything about? Jim, uh, old it, old Jim's like, yeah, he's 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 into this. Let's have a look at that. How many teeth has it got? Yeah, it, but it's no good because all the holes look the same, right? Yeah. yeah. Or is, any, well, so is there any, anything say, different? Well, I'm Oh, sorry, uh, no, no, it's the, the the doctor could say, "Oh, 
I'm so stupid, I could have used the sonic to see if I could open the padlocks, but the doctor would have discovered that they're deadlocked and they would have to be opened with a key. With the key. Otherwise, like the key, even on a free game. You're right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna we're just code. gonna randomly Literally try and them. Yeah. all okay, these locks so in it, order. It, so it doesn't. Ma so let's so go up to the first uh, lock. Yeah. And the the doctor inserts mm -hmm. the key. She turns. There's a small click. The padlock falls loose. She can't believe her luck. It's the first one. She pulls uh -oh. open the drawer, and inside mm. is a crowbar, a Morse code book, oh, and a key. Crowbar? Morse code book, and another key. Another key. Same right. sort of key as before, like a padlock key? If you like. So Ooh, the Morse code, really that, that's, that is the key to the code, Morse code? Uh, it's, you know, you it tells Morse you what the different... Like. Yeah, it's it's um, you know what each dot represents. Yeah, you know, the, 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 yeah. Do, 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 oh, so it's like do, do. a like a decoder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. It's you know. Okay. Uh, and another key, right? Yeah. Well, is the, did you say the key was the same as the others or a different one? Um, it, it's the you know it's a it's a regular key. It's not exactly the same, but it's not anything. Well, we got to try it in the other drawers, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. we hear the Morse code or anything like that? Uh, not well, yet. We got to no. wait. Yeah. That's the point. We got to fuck. That that might come we've later. We got to find it. Uh, it yeah, we've got to unlock Any, that one. I'm just gonna have a word. This is mad because not only have we got um, an old I'm just wondering, like, uh, an RPG. Are we gonna yeah. crowbar yes, open any drawers that that we can't open with this other key? Well, you you could I try. We could. There's you a could bit of violence there. Jim, Jim's the up for that. But you'll discover. I, I also, that I'm the, also thinking of having a look behind all the paintings on the wall. So if we crowbar that, that the paintings be, out, can we just yeah, take them off the wall be, when they just lift off? Hmm. Uh, no, they need to be crowbarred off. They do need to be crowbarred, so they are literally yeah. fixed solid. Oh. So I've, I've gone up to try one, and it's ah, it's right. not moving. I think we're well, going to need that crowbar, Doctor. Yeah. Jim, you take the crowbar, and I'll just try and the old man's like, go on, on give it some. Get that crowbar on it. Rip it off the wall. I'm like, shut up, will you? I'm just trying to... They're, they're good paintings. You know, we, we better check on site. You, you don't, don't care about paintings. You never cared about nothing okay. in your life, he's saying to me. I'm like, all right, just give it a break. Just give it a rest, will you? Why don't you give it a rest? Put some welly into it. You're like a wet tissue you are. I'll leave it alone, you stupid... I'm like, ah! Something's come off. The whole so painting Simon is just says, literally just gone. Simon says, "You took you long enough. Get on with it, you two, you one. I don't know what you are." <laughs> so the picture has come off the wall and it's revealed made a right old mess. Mm. A black light behind it. Oh, like what? Like a UV light thing? That's the one. Yeah. Well, like okay. a big solid rectangle of UV. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah. Is that? Is not that it, I'm, it's not on. I'm, it's I'm, it's oh. not on. It's not on. You know it's a black light. Yeah, it's well, not um, right. If I, can I find a switch for that? Uh, not yet. Can I use my Sonic? Well, you could look for it. I'm sorry. I sort of, uh, can I Can I see if I can get my phone connected? But don't forget, there's multiple paintings in the room. Oh, so there's other ones. So we rip them all off then. What, yeah. what the hell? We've got one off. Come on, Simon. You get that one. I'll get this one. Okay, I'm you know, on it. Anytime, Doctor, you want to let the hand just... Ah, there's another one. Go on. But the, the doc, Doctor's busy with the Sonic. Yeah, yeah, you and, carry uh, on. You, you carry the, on Sonic. Let, let's say there's four paintings. All right, and, two, uh, two down. Simon's got another, another black one. light. There's another, another black, black light. Simon, so we, another so black Simon's light. got another one. And then the final one. This one's really tough. Simon, it's going to take. Because I don't have an awful lot of strength, to be honest. Okay, My let me come and help. Well, let's combine our strength. Do we have to I've roll for this, four. or we we just pulling this no. one off then? All right, let's do okay, it. Got to get ready. it off. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 ah, what is that? It's another black light, Rebel. Oh. Are you stupid? <laughs> is it, this this one's still switched off. So we got no, four black lights. Four. four all, all off, yes. All and switched off. Okay. And we haven't got any sign so, of a way to turn these on. Si well, Simon's no. really worried about when they do come on because they'll show his dandruff. <laughs> we need to see some more code somewhere, don't we? Yeah. We need yeah, to see some dots so, so we the, need the, the doctor. Don't forget, the doctor has uh, the Sonic. Yeah. And there's also that, another key. In the absence of another a, key of a switch, I will use the Sonic, and I believe the Sonic's got. A value that I roll against or something? I can't remember now. Ah. Tricky controls. 
performance bit. You're right, okay. I'm going to use the Sonic and my technology roll, which is six. Mm. So what do I have to roll to get the Sonic to switch the black lights on? Do we Wait, wait, oh. wait. Do we want it, the black lights on? Well, I've... No, not necessarily. But my hunt yeah. is that if we turn the black lights on, we will see show up somewhere. Something might happen. Got some dashes. Okay. So now, now Rebel's nervousness is, is kicking back in again. Okay. <laughs> His suspicion so is starting if, to give him if goosebumps. If you get them on, yeah. you don't like my hunch, If you get you? them on now, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter if they go on now or they go as planned. So let's see. So it depends get, on the roll then. Yeah, let's yeah, say right. let's make this difficult. So you've got to get. Uh, You're making these increasingly six. difficult. I've noticed the numbers are going higher. I'm just picking them. Well, let's say sixteen. <laughs> sixteen. 16. Oh, and I can. Uh, so, uh, do I get a value for my Sonic or just the technology? Was it? Was that six? Did you say? Was that six? My technology. Te I am the doctor. Yeah, six is your technology. I built. I built yeah. that Sonic in a garage in Sheffield. You did. Out of spoons. With spoons. I've got eight. <laughs> Plus me six. Okay. That's 14. Eight. 14. 14. Okay. So you've tried the Sonic on the black it's not lights. working. Nothing happens. Okay. Okay. Um, so don't forget, you've got a key. A key left. Yeah. Um, try the key, the Doctor. Other, just try the key. We've got to try the other drawers, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. We go and try a drawer. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So the first drawer you try doesn't work. And there's one left. Yeah, go go to the next one. Right. Yeah. Okay, we go to that, and we'll see if that opens that drawer. The tension okay. is unbearable. It does. It the, it, Ooh, the padlock drops. To that's the floor. opened. Clink. The doctor pulls the drawer open, and inside are two switches: a red Ooh. one and a green one. Ah. Ooh. Oh dear. Which one are you gonna press? Oh dear. Now. Now that's the decision, isn't it? Right. We've got to work out if any of our stats are gonna help us. I mean, intuition springs to mind. Right. What? Okay. So I've got. I've got, I've got again technology, um, and I've got knowledge, but it's just a switch, so you know it's a switch. Yeah, we've got, we've and got. We don't know what's behind the switches. We've got the colour almost doesn't or, matter. Red or green, have we? Or do we yeah. just switch yeah. them both at the same time? Well, you you could do that. It doesn't matter unless yeah. we know what where the switches go to, or even what they do. Uh, we've got to try. Yeah. We've got to try them. Red would seem to red indicate will... that's the warning sign, but then maybe it's a double bluff. Maybe well, red is the same green, one. It's green green is on and one. red off. But then why are we say why are we assuming that one is good and one is bad anyway? Because it's just a switch. So you know, a switch is going to do something. Well, we're still of the mind so, that this is a this is a leisure activity, aren't we? Yeah. Well, you, I don't so know. Rebel's saying, I don't know if Rebel is. Yeah, yeah, no, well, he doesn't. He's, yeah, he's still suspicious, but right. just Simon has a switch. Guess. He can deal with switches. Should we put this in oh, Simon? No, I don't like. Yeah, Simon says I don't like. I don't like uh, switch puzzles. It, it reminds okay. me of that bit in that old Earth movie, Guardians of the Galaxy Two, where the little tree has two buttons <laughs> to press. If you press the wrong one, he blows up the planet. If he presses the other one, he saves the planet. Ah, uh, it's too much. I, I gotta go Oops. stand in the corner. I think we found right, that Simon's no help. <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah. no flipping help at all. I mean, if I if I had to guess without rolling, I'd go for green for go. Oh, but, see, I, I was going to um, go red. Oh, is this <laughs> Do we have to roll against each should, other. Maybe, maybe should we just see? We should just roll, and whoever gets the highest gets. So I'll roll for red, you roll for green. Well, that, whoever I gets think, the yeah. highest number. There's a, there's a category that? called conflict, which we should roll when we're opposed Ooh. to each other. For, so oh, okay. So What's that? How does that work? Well, basically, I, my conflict is three. What is mm. yours? Hold on. Conflict. I haven't got conflict as one of my skills. <laughs> okay. So well, I'm three I'd ahead say, already. Uh, okay, so you win then. As the you know, we can roll, because I might roll a one. Okay, I'm what? saying... My, doctor, doing, I'm saying yeah, red. How many dice are we I'm, doing? I'm second get it. As what? We can do one dice each, Jeff. Yeah, do can one do, dice can't each. We? Yeah. Yeah. One dice. Fire, bearing in mind, I've got plus three. Right. Okay. So, okay. so I'm going to roll I've, it. I've rolled a, a five. Number. I've rolled a five. You've rolled a five. We're pressing the green. I've rolled a two. We're pressing the green. Uh, okay. okay, Doctor, go for it. So the Doctor approaches the uh, the two buttons. She pauses momentarily. Her finger goes towards the green button. And she moves briefly to the red button. Mm. She goes back to the green, and with a decisive nod of the head, she presses the green button. 
nothing happens. Oh. And then suddenly, oh. shutters come down <gasps> across the windows, shutting out the light. Oh the, no! You know the, the the moonlight that was coming in. And Are then in suddenly, then the room lights uh, the go UV. out as well. Ooh. Uh, the, the UV uh, hasn't come on immediately, so there's still another switch. So we're in black. Well, so, so the room is in darkness. So we've got to press the other switch. And and the doctor knows that the sonic didn't do anything on the uh, UV. Exactly. Did, didn't yeah. turn them my, on. My phone's no good. Right. The torch isn't well, working. Well, yep. it's 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 your turn to press the switch, Rebel. Okay, here goes. So then. Simon, exotic Simon, is panicking oh, at this. Simon, point. don't panic. I've got this, me old chum. I'm going to press the red switch, like I said we should have done in the first place. <laughs> click. So with a click of the button, the black, the four black lights. <gasps> Flick on, bathing the room in a sort of uh, dull, uh, you know, bluey purple glow, Ultraviolet. and reveal some words oh, on the ceiling. Oh, look up! The these, words these, are uh, yeah. English language. Oh, well, the TARDIS would it, translate. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Well, the TARDIS would translate, and the well, words I are. I know we don't know what the TARDIS is now. We don't know where we are. Exactly. Well, you don't know where you are. No. So words uh, on the, the ceiling. The words are. Watch the shadows. <gasps> oh, oh my yeah. goodness! I've literally got a chill going up my spine. Watch the Suddenly, Are there shadows in this room. Well, the, the, the room is obviously very, very dark at the moment. Oh, Suddenly, yeah. Oh, yeah. one of the okay. one of the black lights near Simon goes out, just covering him in shadow, mm. and then <laughs> he's gone. He has oh. seemingly oh. been eaten by the air, and then. A Morse code starts to play. Oh. Paul, would you please cue up the Morse code that I prepared earlier? It's playing. I think it's Q press the red switch. <laughs> it, it would have happened anyway, whichever button you pressed. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Right. So um, you can did keep you make a note that, of that, Rebel? <laughs> We've got so don't forget, book. you yeah. got the code book. Yeah. And now you're standing in a room. Yeah. There's only three black lights on. One of the other ones starts flickering. Okay. The Morse code is playing on repeat. And the doctor has a look on her face that implies she knows what's going on. Well, sh she knows she's got an idea. Okay. Okay. But you got to work out what the uh, Morse code is. Oh, crikey. Can you, can you guys hear that? I want to make sure that neither of them are standing near the flickering black light in case that goes off. And yeah, we get no, neither of you are near it. Yeah. Right, okay. So and and um, we should say, a, a man just sort of um, it literally vanished just in, into vanished. shadow. Yeah. Does Rebel have anything to say about that? Watch the shadows. He's, he's a little bit scared about this, actually, because this yeah. isn't something that he can easily explain. Yeah, Unless... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, uh, could you? Could well, you hear the I mean, the code? doctor would try and make sure that rebels calm down first of all. But yeah, he's a, kind of freaking out a little bit now. Emergency here, isn't there? And that that Morse code isn't helping as well. Now, if if it's proving difficult to work it out, you could roll the dice uh, to use the Doctor's intelligence to just magically, automatically know what the uh, uh, yeah, Morse code Morse is saying, code but it, is. Might, it might be fun if you try to right, figure it out on. for a minute. Right, so, hold on, so we've okay. got words on the ceiling, watch the shadows. One of the UV lights has gone out, and your man has just been eaten by darkness. Is he actually still in the room, though? Because is, is it just that we can't see him? No, he's, he's gone. He's, he's, he's oh, he has there. literally gone. So he's vaporised, yeah. right? So, yeah. Okay, so so we've got some kind of destructive element in the room. Mm. And it's has it knocked out one of the UVs? Uh, well, one, yeah, one of them was turned off, and then uh, Exotic Simon uh, became... That's no when more. he was... That, and one of them he was no more. One of them's one flickering. Of them's flickering. Right. Um, so does the flickering we, um, match the Morse code at all, or is it flickering just um, randomly? It's just random. Just random. But, so there's no yeah. no connection between the but Morse it, yeah. code and it's the flickering. It's about to go, isn't it? No. And it's going to go. Yeah. So one of us is going to get eaten up. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm sure the doctor would be doing better than me myself, but I haven't got a clue. Can we open the shutters? Or are they slammed down for good? So we can't open those. The doctor can try uh, the Sonic, but we'll discover uh, that they are deadlocked, deadlock sealed, much like the um, drawers, the padlocks were, uh, with with that handy uh, plot stopping so, device <laughs> so watch the shadows do it does that mean yeah. is that meaning like look at the shadows or is it a reference to to time like a clock or something is it a different play uh, it's watch? it's um is it no just it's mean more watch? like be, you know, beware. beware 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 the shadows all right, right. Well, we're okay. keeping away from the shadows as much so as we, we can. Do, do, can we create some light here then well, you could create some light to uh, help the situation. Obviously, the Sonic is capable of the doing is, such things. Yeah. My, my phone torch might just be working, actually. The, the battery might be coming back on. Okay. Well, perhaps with a quick, uh, you know, uh, a, a smack on the phone, as, you know, if technology's not working, give it a thump, and um, Rebel's phone uh, could come back to life to, to okay. fire up the torch. So well, we, let's go with uh, let a, double a double yeah, roll. Yeah, you've got to get, you gotta get uh, s seven. Seven? Okay, that's not too bad. Roll the dice. Ah, oh, that's rubbish. I've got three. The phone's no good. <laughs> Okay. Well, no Although, actually, okay, no. pray my technology, which is five, with a with oh, a final crack. Doof, it's on. It works. Ah, good. And then the doctor would make so a gag about having an, in, an international calling plan at some point. You know, that would have helped or something like that. I don't know. Might have done. Quite why, but you know, she'd she'd make some sort of gag about it. So, uh, Rebel shines the torch around the room. The the uh, spot from the torch obviously um you know its power <gasps> fades the further away from the from the phone and it and it proves really to be kind of useless and just uh, it amplifies the fear a little bit so the morse so code is still sonic. going morse code you is still going sonic. Yeah. maybe the, maybe the phone could be boosted by the sonic yeah can we yeah. try that yeah, i think it'd be fun to sonic your phone to make the phone work rather right. than just use the sonic Go that okay, there. so let's, let's do a Sonic on the phone. Let's say we got to get a nine to make this work because we had to go is for that, seven. Is that the... counting my technology? What's the technology again? Roll. Let me have a look. Six. Well, um, six. So you might want to. Okay, so roll one dice and you and you got to get nine with your technology and your dice. All right. It's so... not making it easy. I have rolled a four. Yeah. It's okay, so it boosts. Well, you've done it then. Yeah. So go. the phone so, can work. So, the, so the you, light is, we can see by your phone what the light is back on. We can see by the phone. Right, what are we looking so, at? There's a small pile of dust in the corner where Ooh. exotic Simon was. Oh, Look at I this dust. Well. You, but Poor you're both Simon. still staying uh, in the corner. Of, of okay. you know, with the two lights that are on and, and away yeah. from the one that's flickering. The torchlight doesn't reveal anything, but it's the not, the. It's not working. Uh, it's not working, but the uh, Morse code is still going. Oh, yeah, we Morse need code to again. That's, that's my next. It's uh, we, we've got to decode that Morse. Have you? I've actually got it. I've got an ancillary book. So I can't read the key. So I'm going to have to roll for this. Go on then. Okay. Yeah, so you, you can, can roll. Translate all that. Yeah. So let's say. Uh, Unless Paul, to get uh, you actually know Morse code. I, I don't know Morse code. It was oh. it was it was literally outlawed on Rebels okay. Home Planet. Well, I <laughs> think this is <laughs> archaic something. nonsense yeah. technology. Not We've even got... the old man's any good. I think we probably try. I'm oh, not that bleeding old, you know. I am. <laughs> but we so behave we, so yourself. The See, um, I think we try this together. So if we add our okay, knowledge, let's up, do this. And yep. then Jeff gives us a target to roll at. My knowledge is six. My knowledge Yours. is three. So we got nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you got to get sixteen. And four dice to get this. Yeah. We're using one all, we're using oh, one dice each. each. No, one, one dice, dice each. One dice. Make it slightly right. harder. One dice. Here we go. Ready? Make sure between your numbers you'll oh, I've get it. I've got a two. Okay. I've got five. Oh. <clears throat> so we got nine so and five. five. Nine and seven. Yeah. 
Okay, okay perfect. 16. 16. There you go. Okay. That'll do. So, the Morse code I like the is way revealed to. <laughs> <laughs> so the Morse code is revealed to say who turned out the lights. Oh, um, that's <laughs> the place. It's the Fashta Narada. It is. Uh, 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 no, we're stuck so, in a room with Fashta Narada, and, and we're surrounded point, by them because we got books in here, and the windows are shuttered. And of course, it's a library because they're 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 taught they're taking the piss, they're toying you know with the doctor. I think that probably should have occurred to me earlier. Yeah, same, but we the, were we were uh, defected. Been a lot of things happened since then. Yeah, <laughs> we've come a long way since then. Yeah. So uh, now uh, we're stuffed. I, the other black light. Like it, well, that, that's sort of the cliffhanger, but um, I've just decided that something else uh, could Ooh. happen. So the other um, okay. black light flickers and goes out. <gasps> the Doctor is going to say something to Rebel here to, to uh, briefly catch him slash the audience up on what's going on. You want me With to do exposition? I do, yes, yeah. Fash de Dorada. Um, I met them once. They didn't do River Song much good. Um, <laughs> so I'm not really a fan. Uh, if you, I don't really know. So the Doctor will I sort of remember. explain that the Vash de Narada are uh, live, living shadows. That's sort it. Of, uh, the, du <laughs> the dust mites that you see. Yeah. Uh, you, where you, I'm trying you to remember how... The doctor dealt with them in the end. Did he just leave them? In well, they 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 got trapped space. in the uh, spacesuit, didn't they? And and they they sort of um, uh, they they trapped the um, yeah, bit the of per personality, as it were, memory. This in the, is a in the chip. This is an alien race, isn't it? We didn't get all. It, of it them is back an alien race. Yeah. No, so they they've and, been hiding. So this isn't an escape room. This right. is a this, this is, is basically a feeding. It's a feeding bowl, and we're it's the food. Yeah, there you so go. The Doctor and Rebel are, are trapped in There's a room. There's a cliffhanger. So we. I yeah, told you there was something wrong, there. Doctor, didn't I? I said to you, the old man now is kicking off big time. He's like, rah, 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 you shouldn't have come in. I told you, you shouldn't have come in." And, and I'm like, "Well, you're now bleeding good, are you?" The the shot, the camera would rush over from one side of the room out of, out of the darkness into the the pale blue light and up to the Doctor's face as she looks uh -oh. scared. Cue music. <laughs> yeah, that's um. Oh! Well done, oh, Jeff. Because that. Oh, uh, well that, done, Jeff. Nice well way. done, mate. It started yeah. quite like okay, that's all right. That's nice and gently, easily. But then it got a little bit. It got oh, quite tough, didn't it? Yeah. There's two things going because we got the RPG it, thing, we, and then he throws an escape room into it as well. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. that's that's and genius. Everything we did made it a bit worse. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah, well, you know, um, so, um, yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, yeah, really, the story, not worse as a story. I mean, yeah, we got ourselves into the situation, whole, whole yeah. jeopardy. So, um, see, the easy I really enjoyed that. to start with. Yeah, that was good yeah, fun. Yeah. I I enjoyed it. That was um, that was alright. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, introduction to it i think yeah, yeah. i've not um, played this particular game or, or any rpg for Donkeys. Well, I've never done Donkeys anything is. like this before, and um, I, I think Paul and I were probably both a bit, um, you know, nervous about doing this. You know, we we talked about playing this ages ago with with people that we knew, you know, through Twitter and mm. stuff, and it never yeah. happened. Then we said, oh, maybe we should do it for the podcast. And Paul thought, didn't oh, think it'd make listen. a very good podcast. But, yeah, you, you don't think it would make a very good one, but uh, <laughs> who's going to listen you know, to that? <laughs> well, hopefully, you know, I, like, I've really enjoyed that tonight. That and fun. Graham, thank yeah. you for for getting involved and bringing your uh, you know, knowledge of this kind of yeah, stuff yeah. to it. I, I think. I don't know it, you know, right. if I'm I mean, honest, I'm I think we would have. I mean, yeah, no. Well, well, when I said to Paul, you know, we we should get some, you know, people that we know in. He, he said, oh, I said straight away, you, didn't I? Because you know, you did, yeah. I said straight away, um, mate. I knew. And, and I think we probably would have somewhat struggled <laughs> here with, with all the dice rolling and stuff like that. So you know, like we we talked earlier, didn't we, Graham? And I said maybe we can kind of semi games master it together. So your kind of yeah, knowledge yeah, of the dices just, and stuff like. You, the first, the first game of any game is getting to know the game, 
and then you yeah. take and it does, it from there. But that, that went quite well, I thought. Yeah, it, it, I, I think I, it went well. I think so. And I mean, you look at the book, and the book's it's a great looking book, but it's kind of scary yes, the, the, yeah. how much stuff there is in it. And I, yeah. I was kind of skim reading bits of it, and I thought, there's no way am I going to remember all this. And it's like, yeah. well, in a way, you don't have to remember all of it. You just because the best way mm. to do it is just to start playing it, isn't it? And then yeah. maybe, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're quite lucky because we got you. But you know, maybe going back to the book, if we get really stuck or or something. Yeah, oh, there, is certain, there does... are certain standard things you do in role play games, and yeah. one of the main things is just to just to make it tell a story. Let let yeah. the, let the adventure unfold in a satisfying that, way. Um, that's what it says in the book. The, you know, it, the, it, the games master has to be mm. um, a good, good storyteller. You know, you know, to to kind of know when they're going down a, a dead end or mm. whatever, but and bring them, make, or get them to bring themselves back rather than pull mm. them back. But you, that was that was pretty good going actually. I mean, I didn't really see that Bastion Narada thing turning up until they turned you up. Should realised. I I, yeah, realised. Yeah. In a lab, <laughs> But I was so busy trying to work think out what was going on. I, could, I, did, I didn't really think back to know, that's it. history. Good, de- good deflection there, isn't it? Yeah. Jeff, you, you did yeah. good there, mate, because you gave us yeah, a really easy face, puzzle yeah. to start off with, which made we us think yeah, One thing we should have known mm. was that Simon was going to buy it. Simon, yeah, yeah. And actually, he when he did it, buy it, that, consumed that, by shadows, watched yeah, the shadows. Even but then... then if, but then... Why Why would you put a clue on the on the ceiling except to kind of torment your captors? Mm. Uh, that's your it, I, I think. Well, I've got a theory right. now that mm. this might be revenge on the Doctor. And that's why Ooh. those recognisable phrases came back. So who sent the email? Yeah, yeah. That's, who that's turned out I'm the lights? Thinking. That's I, quite I specific, isn't it, to that adventure? Yes, it is. Yeah. Right, Jeff, you, got, you better um, start concocting part two of this, mate, because um, yes, I'll have to. Yeah. we need to yeah, get these guys we'll out of this room. Back and yeah. finish this two part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll, Brilliant. I'll need um, a bit of time to, to plan part two, but I've got some thoughts already. Yeah. But the, the book says. Um, you know, essentially, it's just about having fun, and and you can do as many or as few of the kind of rules as you want. And I, I mm. mentioned earlier that Funko Verse game. When I sat down to look at that first with, with my friend Luke, we were like, "God, this is this is really complicated." And uh, but it, it says in there, you you can make mm. it as you can play as you know a hundred percent of it as you want. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of yeah. you can be really to, rigid you know. and strict, and yeah. But that's and really you know what we more experienced players mm. who all know each other very well. And, and we'd game. been playing, yeah, and we'd been playing Funkoverse for quite a while. Then we we realised we weren't doing something quite right, and we were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we talked about going and entering a you know a tournament if there was anything like that going because occasionally yeah. Funko do. Where is that? Is that, card, is that a card game one? Like, I've not seen. Them. No, it, it's um, you know like Funko Pops, the little yeah, figures, yeah, yeah, you know, with the yeah. big eyes. So you mm. you have two each of those, uh, usually goodies and baddies, and then you have got a board board game, uh, you mm. know, double sided. Uh, and then there's like four different kind of modes within it. So one of them might be you've got to get from your flag to theirs. Okay. Uh, you've got to s- get crystals yeah, from it, around the board. It's a war game or uh, a battle game. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's also strategy battles. So then you, you know yeah. you can go up to one of the opponents, and in each turn you get you get two goes. So right. the first go, for example, could be you move and you can move two squares, uh, yeah. and then your next go. Could be that you're now uh, next to a baddie, well, and you get a melee them. weapon out. So you, yeah. yeah, so you could just roll your your dice, and then they've got to roll their dice and try and get a shield and stuff and defend it. Or you can use one of your tokens, and each character has a a trio or, or so of special moves. So it might be that one of them says, uh, "This will do attack six, So you therefore use all six of the dice. Um, and yeah. then you know your opponent might only have one dice to use in defence, in which case you're going to yeah. obliterate them. And then you put the token on your cooldown track, and on each round it then has to move back down four times before it comes back into play. Mm. Um, yeah, this, then, this sounds like a pretty a, like a standard type of game that's then built around the franchise that it's celebrating. <coughs> yeah. So if you're and, into and the, that, the, you're going to have the charm and the character that you want from a game. Mm, you're going to get... Yeah. You, you could get that yeah, game. You could it. get a Batman version or you could get a... Well, you can, yeah. You do. Yeah. 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 version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm, looking, I'm just reading all the titles behind the red there. You buy the one that brings that character and charm 
to you personally. You know, yes, in, uh, and part of the thing with it is is to be able to mix and match characters to yeah, get different yeah, kind yeah. of power combos and stuff. So, for example, I've got the Marvel version, uh, the um, hmm. uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, and, and uh, the Harry Potter one, and I've never actually mixed any of them together. But um, the Marvel one has got a fun add-on with Thanos, so you All have. Right. One one person Thanos, and then uh, the other player is three people, and and you kind of go against him, and he's like super powerful, and it becomes yeah, an extra yeah, yeah. hard. And so there's variety can... within the mechanics mm. of the game. Yeah, and yeah. then like I, I'm in a group on Facebook, and people talk about well, I took Jack Skellington, and I put him with so and so, and you know, sorry, Paul. He's right. been working hard. Uh, but it's it's really good. I I really enjoy <laughs> yeah, it. I, I um, might look that up. Fun. I haven't got any Funko mm. Pops myself because. You know, there's a limit to everything that you can collect. Yes, yeah, there I, is. I, I, yeah, I, I, I've, I've gone don't, for the. Uh, I've got for a lot of Daleks myself. Nice, yeah. but, and, um, and all the Judge yeah, Dread and Roy the Rovers and stuff behind you as well. Yeah, that, saw, saw your stuff. Yeah. Really, yeah. really impressive. Look at that. Is that Asterix you got there as well over in there? Yeah, Tis, these are all Asterix. Yeah, yeah. look at that. There you go. Nice. What's the uh, the big big load of stuff b at the bottom shelf below you uh, those that, that's all 2018 the yeah. ultimate collection ah, right. I haven't, okay. it's not complete Good. yet but i think there's about 110 20 books Ooh. wow yeah so fantastic so these are these are this is what i talk about on my youtube show yeah but yeah, that's good. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll drop a, a link to that in oh yeah, no, the, no, um, yeah that'd be good postcards from a wet rock it's called nice i'm gonna watch but, it um, there you go yeah yeah that's well i've, that's I've really well. Yeah, no, that's good. And um, well, I've really enjoyed this, guys. So I definitely think we should come back soon. We for need to do part, part two. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't yeah. Leave them and, in that room. Um, and and also, um, depending on when this episode goes out, we will also have already done so, or soon be talking to one of the guys from Cubicle Seven who, <gasps> who made the game. Indeed. Um, yeah. So we're, we're going to be following it up with that. So oh, nice brilliant! A bit of uh, synchronized mm. timing on that there. Um, but our listeners, if you've enjoyed this, which which we hope you have, do let us know. It, uh, uh, we'd like to get more. Uh, feedback on stuff. People have been very kind recently, sending us messages and comments about how much they enjoy the podcast. But um, you know, which, which is always incredible, isn't it? Really nice. I certainly nice always kind of enjoy it myself. Oh, no. Thank you. That I am a few so weeks behind up. at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's uh, unforgivable! Well, no, that's, how dare you? Yeah, like, <laughs> you're, not, you're, you're not coming back for part two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> only, only a few weeks. Uh, that's no, all no, right, that's then. fine. Well, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll let him off, I suppose. <laughs> it's, it's a lot to, to keep up with when it's. I'm, it's I'm saving them up near the sixtieth, well. so I can get myself Ooh, yeah. in the mood. Mm. Yeah, do you know what? We'll have to start planning stuff for that, won't we? We will, yeah. It's not that um, far away now. With less than it's half not really, year. no. Mm. Yeah, well, it's going to be here before June, we know it. June, but, June, uh, yeah, but you know, when you've listened to this, people, do do um do let us know. Do what let you us know. Of it and, and if you've Jeff enjoyed said. it, and you know, yeah. we'll, we'll, uh, we'll come, come back for part two very soon. Mm. So, on that note, thank you, fellow gamers. I've thank enjoyed you. this immensely. Yeah, and uh, uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, thank you, Graham. Yeah, Thanks for joining us, mate. It's been a lot of Doctor fun. Who RPG, very good. There you Enjoyed go. There. Enormously. So Please plug yeah, that. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll be back very soon. Very soon. See you on thank the you. corner next time. Bye for now. Bye. Until next time. Bye. 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 bye.